guys, Blake here. You guys know me as Harris Highlights. Before the video starts, I'd like to explain to you a little about SeatGeek. SeatGeek is an app that gathers tickets from all around the web into one app. It gives you different color schemes so that way you know how good of a deal you're truly getting. Now here's where we come in. When you sign up or check out, make sure you use the promo code Harris Highlights, one word only, and you'll receive $20 off your order. Not only are you getting to go to a sporting event, you're saving some money as well. Shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Now enjoy the best plays from the past weekend of college football. UCF and South Florida both have not had a long history in college football, but this natural and budding rivalry, the war on I-4, has everything on the line today. The only remaining unbeaten team in the state of Florida is right here in Orlando. 15th ranked UCF squares up with South Florida. Turn for South Florida. And he'll work his way out across the 30 yard line. This senior out of Miami. All day to throw. And has Mitchell Wilcox for a first down. Tyree McCants with space. And there goes Tyree McCants. Inside the They love to give him the ball out in space on the edge. Excellent blocking outside by Dylan the tight end as well as Wilcox. And the big body man, he can pick him up and put him down as he drags the UCF defender into the end zone. Slick handoff to Killings. And the speedster is into the red zone. Very strong in the red zone. Milton with a little bit of magic for a touchdown. Time. Looking for Elkana Dillon, who comes back to the ball and has it inside the UCF 40. Ryan again, and that ball is on the ground. And somehow T. Hernis Johnson comes out with it. UCF 15th in the college football playoff rankings. It's Johnson. Burrowing, and he looks to be short on the initial spot. Here's Otis Anderson. Excellent perimeter blocking that time. Milton will run. All the respect that they deserve from Coswell Cliff. Anderson on the edge, and he's got a first down in this offense. As a man, it is caught! Touchdown UCF, Frederick Snelson. Flowers has a man. What a snare by McCants. The second huge play for Tyree McCants takes him inside the 25. I'd be on Flowers. They've got one. Flowers will toss it up to the sideline. 41-yarder for Emilio Nadelman. First time he has missed since the two-lane game. Got another one here in UCF. Milton with a beautiful strike for a first down. Football whatsoever, and that's who they are. They depended more on Flowers to really throw at the front. Nice late decision to find Michael Calubiali. Find his target. I think that was a misidentification by the official. Milton with a late pitch to Killings. And UCF with another impressive score. Milton doing it all in quarter one. They get the snap off. To Solomon. Incomplete. 
two freshmen in this offense. Right back to him. Tackled by Reed. Ability utilizing his legs just yet. Plenty of time. Has a man loose. McCants again. Down near the 25 of UCF. Corner blitz. Flowers to the end zone. What a catch. Temi Alaka. Touchdown Bulls. Four-man rush. Griffin nearly had him. Flowers for McCants again. Down to the 44-yard line in UCF territory. Here comes the blitz from UCF. And Flowers is forced to throw it away. If it's Bruce Hector, Deidrin Sinat. Off the fingertips of Traquan Smith. Flowers. Making some magic happen with his legs into UCF territory. Flowers, end zone, Wilcox, touchdown balls. On third and two, Bulls blitz, quick throw, incomplete. Flowers, flushed. Needs midfield and has the first down. Flowers to Valdez. Stanford. What a pick by Mike Hughes! USF finding some success in the passing game. How crucial was that pick to end the half? That was a big pick. Uh, we've given up too many plays on defense, and we sputtered uh, in the second quarter on offense. we got to make some adjustments and uh, find our rhythm again. Yeah, Mackenzie Milton cooled off a little bit. What do you need him to do? Well, that's the way it's going to be against them. They're playing uh, no linebackers right now. They're putting all DBs out there. We're going to have to win against man coverage. We're going to have to protect. Uh, we did a good job of that in the first quarter. we got to keep going. Thank you, Coach. Very nice showcase for the American Conference today. Both teams showing out, showing what, you, what they're made of. Both offenses and defenses have shined at certain times. First quarter, it was all about Central Florida. Second quarter, it was all about South Florida. We got a heck of a second half second in store. Half Are you ready? Proper mechanics. There's Milton. Able to shake past Tajay Fullwood for a first down. In plus territory. Milton tosses it. Incomplete, and the Bulls take over. Looking for McCants again. Incomplete. Landed at UCF with George O'Leary. Milton, under pressure, finds Traquan Smith. Incredible story. One of the best in college football. First down, Traquan Smith. And UCF is into the red zone. Milton to the end zone. It is caught. Gabriel Davis, touchdown to UCF. Flowers has Dillon for the first down. Third down and seven for South Florida. And Quinton Flowers uses his feet for the first down. for another first down. Dylan the block, and toots the touchdown! Played tight against Arkansas in that rivalry game. Milton picked off! Ronnie Hoggins with the interception! Has not been shy about using his feet to make it happen. Touchdown Bulls and South Florida leads. Milton connecting with Jordan Franks, the tight end. Kuzinski chasing. And UCF. Bringing the pressure to the top of the formation.
Milton has the first down. Underneath to Marlon Williams. And Williams has the first down. Boise State number 23 in the race. Milton, dangerous throw, and it is intercepted by Jamon Thomas with a penalty marker thrown. Holding, defense, number three, automatic, first down. Huge penalty though against the Bulls. Killings, stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. Bulls blitz. Another dangerous pass. It is ruled incomplete. They do. Shaquan Burkett brings down Flowers. Milton has a man. Michael Kalubiali, the red shirt senior, with a 27 yard catch. He put his hand down and stand up. Milton has a man wide open downfield. Snelson, touchdown, tie game. Flowers tosses it up there for Solomon. Is it a catch? It is. What a play on a desperation heave. Past the sticks, caught by Marquez Valdez Scantling. Flowers launches and incomplete. Position dies this game. Still three minutes to play. Milton, huge completion to Smith inside the 25. Big blitz from the Bulls. It's a screen against the Blitz. The perfect play. Otis Anderson may have sealed the deal for UCF. Clock moves inside in two minutes. Flowers has a man. It is caught. Darnell Solomon. Touchdown Bulls. Nearly five hundred passing yards for Quinton Flowers today to set a new South Florida record. And now the two-point conversion to tie this game. A huge play. Here we go. Quarterback run game. A big part of the red zone offense for South Florida. To the sticks for the first down. Wilcox lost the football. UCF has it with 39 seconds to go. Well, Mitchell Wilcox picks up the first down and Richie Grant punches the ball out. And how about the man who jumps on him? Shaquem Griffin. Fantastic job by Richie Grant. A program that just began play in 1979. 
a program that just reached FBS status in 1996, a program that two years ago suffered through an 0 and 12 season, only to find themselves two years later sitting at the precipice of 11 and 0, en route to an American Conference Championship game and potentially en route to the New Year's Six. What a story here in Orlando for Scott Frost and the UCF Knights. UCF, the first team in FBS history to go from winless to unbeaten in the regular season in a two-year span. 11-0, and Scott Frost and the Knights are headed to the American Conference Championship game as the champions of the Eastern Division, and the war on I-4 did not disappoint. Coach, you're known for your offense, but your defensive players come, came up big. Mike Hughes, Shaquem Griffin, what was your reaction to that explosive ending to this game? Uh, unbelievable ending. I, I got so much admiration for their team, and, and that was one of the best football games of the year. Um, they made plays, we made plays, we just made, made a few more at the end. You inherited an 0-12 team just two years ago. Now you have a perfect 11-0 record. You're going to the conference title game. You guys are making history. How did you turn things around so quickly? I don't know. It's all these coaches and these players. They went from 0 to 100 real quick. Um, and the effort these guys have given us, uh, the dedication they've given us. we got more to prove yet this year, so we're not going to pat ourselves on the back yet. But what these guys are doing is special. With success comes a lot of extra attention. Coach, you said it would be a crime to acknowledge all the coaching rumors, but you're headed for the postseason. How do you approach this difficult month ahead? We, we don't even think about it. Um, I, I owe these players that have given me their all by 100%, and that's what I'm giving them. And, um, I'm going to keep giving it to them because we got a good Memphis team coming in here next Saturday. So um, these kids deserve everything they're getting. It's a special group. Great, thank you. Congratulations on the win, Coach. Thank you. Adam, back to you. Two weeks ago, Scott Frost celebrated the birth of his first child, a little boy. The roller coaster of emotions that that man must be going through right now. Incredible as is the 11-0 record for UCF. Just under 1,200 yards, 91 points, 49-42 UCF, the winners. For Dusty Dvorak, Molly McGrath, Adam Amin Singh, so long. Back to the studio and Kevin Nagandi.